This tutorial is going to go over how to create Word documents in GDP 11. So the first Word document we encounter is in Lesson 26. So after I complete my couple of keyboarding exercises, I'm going to click on 26D. At this point, GDP shows me what a business letter is to look like when completed. Please note that when you see a down arrow in 5X, it means to hit enter five times. So here is four times, et cetera, et cetera. It also shows me, if I come out here and click on 26E, it shows me step by step on how I'm going to create a business letter. So after I've reviewed those two pieces, I can now click on my assignment, which is 26.3. It also starts on page 89 in your textbook. Page 89 shows you the parts of a business letter. And page 90 also gives you the step-by-step -step reference as well as your assignment, which starts at the middle of the page. So I'm going to start my work. GDP will then pull up a Word document going to pull up a blank screen for you. If you need to, make sure you click on Enable Editing and you can start your work. So again, to start my assignment, I see that blue arrow down with 5x, so I'm going to hit Enter five times. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to start typing the document. Whenever you see the red dash, it just means to put in the current year. I'm now going to enter four times, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to start typing in, again, the rest of the assignment. For time's sake, I'm just going to put in the rest of the assignment. So now I can either feel confident about my assignment that I'm done, or let's say I ran out of time and I need to save it and work on it later. So at this point, I'm going to hit File, Save As, and we suggest that you have a folder for your GDP work. So I'm going to go into my folder that I've already created called Keyboarding and my GDP folder. And GDP is going to give it a name. Keep that name. Hit Save. This is just a file form, which is not a problem. Just hit OK. And at that point, now I have saved my file. So I'm going to exit out. So at this point, now you can enter that document onto the GDP website. So you have to hit browse, go and find that document. Again, they've saved the name for you. Hit open and now that file is in GDP. At this point you can edit it or you can submit it. So I'm going to click submit work and it's going to grade it and tell me what I've received wrong. So I have six errors. Up here is the legend for what I got incorrect. Blue means I inserted too many things or a word. Omission means I forgot something. Misstroke means there's something wrong with it. So what I need to do is look at here and compare it to page uh, 90 in your textbook to see what you got wrong. So this error is a very common error it means uh, I'm supposed to have a double dash here, and I'll show you how to fix that. Here you can see I left out the word R. Here I put too many words vary. Here is because I have an extra space at the end of the word Franco. And down here, the URS in your book on page 91 simply means that you're to type your initials. And because the document or GDP doesn't know what your initials are, it's always going to mark it wrong. Don't worry about it. Your instructor is fully aware of this. So at this point, I see what I did wrong. I made notes of it in my book. I'm going to exit out of here. And now I want to edit this assignment because I don't want too many errors. I'm going to hit Edit Work. GDP is smart enough to pull up my last assignment, but what it's going to do is it's actually going to name it with two ones um, so it knows that I've edited it twice. 
So I'm going to go make my changes. The first one again is this, I need this to be a double dash. So I'm going to backspace here. I'm going to put two dashes next to the zero sign, type the word one in again, and when I hit space, it gives me that double space, or the, the double um, dash. But I'm going to make sure I delete that extra space after one. I forgot the word R after we. I have too many varies, so I'm going to delete a vary. Again, make sure you always delete those spaces. I'm going to delete the space after Franco. And I know that my initials are going to be wrong. So now, I, again, I feel confident. So I'm going to make sure this is saved. Again, it's going to already make sure you go to your folder. It's going to already put the two ones because I've edited it twice. Just hit save. Let it name it. Exit out. And this is my old one, so I just want to delete or get out of there. Now I want to hit browse, and I'm going to turn in that second assignment or the second editing. So make sure I have the two ones there. Then I'm submit my work, and now it's going to grade the second one that I edited, the second Word document that I worked with. So now I only have two errors. And again, it has to do with my initials. So this assignment is ready to turn in, and it's a perfect assignment. Good luck.